Hi everybody, happy Thursday. I'm back with another brand new book to share with you. And this is another fall book. It is, have you seen my acorn? It is written by DK Ryland and it's published by Flamingo. And we wanna thank them for allowing us to share this book with you today. So are you ready to find out what this book is all about? Let's get started. And what do we see here? So acorns, leaves, it's perfect for fall, isn't it? Have you seen my acorn? Squirrel dug and dug, but he couldn't find it, which could only mean one thing. Someone took his acorn. Did you take my acorn? I buried it right here. Oh no, I would never. But are you sure it hasn't sprouted into a... Sorry, dear, no time to talk. I must find my acorn. Squirrel hurt, scurried off until he smelled something sour. Hmm. What do you think sour? Did you take my acorn? I buried it right by your den. Me? Never. I may stink, but my morals don't. You do know acorns can grow into... No time for chit-chat, skunk. I'm right in the middle of my search. Did you guess the sour was a skunk? Squirrel scampered along until he came to Raccoon's hideout. Did you take my acorn? I know you like to steal food. Listen, kid, I can rummage through trash cans in the city for five-star meals. Why would I want to steal a lousy acorn? You, you sure you haven't seen anything growing where you buried your... I really must skedaddle, Raccoon. I'm sure you understand. Does anyone know what's going on? And is the acorn really missing? Just then, Squirrel heard a rat tat 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 up in the tree. Maybe Woodpecker had taken it. Did you take my acorn? I know you like nuts. Not me. I mostly stay in this oak t -t -t tree. If you buried it, it may have t -t -t turned into. Apologies, Woodpecker. I must get a move on. Before Woodpecker could respond, Squirrel found himself face to face with Fox. Ahem, sorry to bother you, Fox. Have you happened to see my acorn? Let's see. Well, it definitely did not grow into a tree. Actually, it probably rolled right into this log. How about you step inside to check? Hmm. Should he do it? Should he do it? <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I really must be going. But thank you, though. Squirrel backed away from Fox very slowly, and that's when he heard. All right, I'm going to stop right here. So how many of you out there that are listening to this, do you think he buried it and lost it? Or do you think it turned into a tree? You have your guesses? All right, what did he hear? Ooh, ooh. I have seen the acorn you seek, squirrel, but it is no longer an acorn. In fact, it has grown into something small and fragile, but one day it will be mighty and strong, something that will provide shelter and food for creatures big and small. Are you sure we're talking about the same acorn? Quite sure. In fact, your acorn is right in front of you. Yes, right there. You see your acorn has sprouted into a... You see it? Wait, no, no, too far. Look right behind you. Oh dear, don't look at deer. Squirrel isn't cooperating, is he? Goodness gracious, it is literally right next to, do you see it? Woo! Bonk. And look. You see the acorn? It's falling, falling. And look, squirrel sees his acorn. 
next to the tree. And everybody, see everybody? They're all looking at it. There it is. Thanks, Owl. Squirrel was so happy to be reunited with his acorn. He promised to always keep it safe. So he buried it. See the deer? It's eating the tree. Have deer ever eaten your plants? They've eaten mine. And guess what? Look what it is. He buried it and it's another tree. The end. So what did you think about this story? And what did you decide? Did you think he buried it or did you think it turned into a tree? Let me know on our Instagram page. I will be back next week with more brand new books to share. So until then, everybody have a great couple days. Come in and definitely check out this book or just come in and say hi and visit me. I'll see you soon and bye for now.